what happens when we try to subtract whole numbers right and and whether we see what what happens to the results so let's say i do 1 minus 1 the simplest of that we can do it gives me 0 similarly we can get 10 minus 8 we get 2 you can try as many of things as many number combinations as you would like 100 minus 9 gives us 91 other okay so now if we just take three sets here so 1 minus 1 0 is 0 a whole number the result yes it is a whole number then we have this 10 minus 8 which gives me the answer as 2 is resulting number 2 a whole number yes it is a whole number then we have 100 minus 9 which equals to 91 is this a whole number yes it is a whole number okay so now it kind of looks like that when i subtract two numbers the resulting the results the resulting numbers are whole numbers is it really true let's try to take a special case in which i try to subtract three okay i try to subtract six out of three that's what three minus six now the answer of this would be minus three now we know the definition of a whole number is that the whole numbers start from zero one two and so on now this minus three is not a part of the whole number so what does this imply you can try it for any other numbers so in fact this will hold true for any two numbers when you are trying to subtract a larger number in this case 6 from a smaller number so it can even be with for example you are trying to subtract 11 from 10 then in that case you get minus 1 so in this type of scenarios where you are trying to subtract a larger number from a smaller number the resulting number is not a whole number right so so let's let's put it into words what we have observed so we observed that subtraction of two whole numbers subtraction of two whole numbers doesn't always result in another whole number doesn't always result in another whole number and as a result of this we conclude that whole numbers whole numbers are not closed under subtraction k under subtraction okay so we have just checked the closure property now let's just uh, summarize let's put a summary we have covered for we have checked the closure property for addition and subtraction so what is our summary our summary says that whole numbers whole numbers they are closed under addition and not closed under subtraction so these are the two key things and how did we arrive at this because whenever we do addition of two whole numbers the result resulting number is always a whole number hence it is said to be closed and that is not the case when we go for subtraction so now we have uh, discussed the closure property and for the operations of addition and subtraction in the next video i will be discussing about the closure property on the operations of multiplication and division. See you soon.